What's going on, everybody? Fellow humans and resellers, it is I, James, redoptionagency.com. All right, we're going to get into this last night's stuff, if you watched last night's video. And uh, eh, not good sales overnight, of course, but I am not going to worry about it no more. No more, no more, no more. I'm just going to do what I do, and everything will figure itself out. Don't care no more. <laughs> and one thing I'm probably going to do, well, I'll talk about it in a little bit, but uh, let's go over what this, what happened. So uh, when I left you, um, it was the 7 o'clock hour. So in the 8 o'clock hour, I had all of these, but this was all one order right here. So two orders in the 8 o'clock hour. So two customers. And then we come into the nine, we've got four customers. Into the 10, we've got three. 11, we've got two. 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, absolutely nothing. Three o'clock, this was the same person, and then this one got canceled. So two order, or uh, two items, one order two technically uh four o'clock we got one five o'clock we had zero six o'clock one seven o'clock zero eight o'clock one and we are now into nine o'clock it's getting ready to hit ten so it looks like we got four in the nine o'clock hour so pretty crappy but what you gonna do um, what I'm going to do is try to stop complaining <laughs> and just try to let you guys know what I'm trying to do to uh, combat it. Um, I will say this, that I will probably, if you see, I'll try not, at least this is today's plan, and I'm going to try to stick to it. I'm not going to complain. I don't want to complain no more. I'm sick of complaining just because it doesn't. Uh, the the facts are what they are, and I don't know, you just got to figure it out, I guess. Because um, obviously, you know, we all know talking to eBay does nothing and such. So I'm just going. We're just going to try game plans and stuff like I normally do. But just to give you a heads up, I might put a little negative spin on the title and or the thumbnail, and for two reasons. One reason is those views, those videos get a hell of a lot more views than just a positive video, unfortunately. So even if I give you a positive content, I might skew the title and the thumbnail. I guess that's what they call clickbait, right? But skew it uh, in a little bit of a negative angle to get the clicks. So if you're a constant viewer, don't expect negative, you know, just because there's a negative thumbnail. So I'm letting you know that. Another reason I'm doing it is because the people who like to uh, slam me in the comments, you can tell they don't watch the video or even really the whole video. So this will kind of weed those people out if I'm talking positive through the whole video and they're just responding to the title and or the thumbnail. So I'm kind of doing it for two little reasons, just to out those people so you know 100% they didn't watch the video and because it gets more clicks and more views. So why not use negative to my advantage, even if I'm not spewing the negative? So you'll still get, you can still get the positive comment and how we're doing it. And I can still uh, get the, is that kind of like selling out? Am I selling out? But anyway, another reason I might do it too is because even if I am frustrated a little bit, that might give me that little, you know, when, when I am frustrated with anything in life, I have to either voice it, write it down, or cr draw or create something to get that out. So creating a thumbnail or a title like that might release that frustration and so I can move on. So I am getting something else out of it personally, even if it doesn't get more views and stuff like that. It could be my release, <laughs> if you will. So uh, so I can try to be uh, more centered when I'm making the videos. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and get this shipped up. Then we can actually see the numbers that I have to pull this morning. And we'll do that. And my little thingy broke off the phone again. My little back thing. Let's, 
it's not off the phone, but it's off the case. I glued it back on once. I'll glue it on again, I guess. But will this finally be the last trial? Will I go get a new phone finally? One that won't keep shutting down on me. One that has more memory since I make these videos. <laughs> and one that will stop being a problem. Problem child. All right, let me get to shipping and I'll be back. All right, so I got 25 orders to pull this morning. And that would have been after, I guess, 8 p.m. on. So in the last 12, 13, 14 hours, 25 items. So that's at least more than one item per hour. So that's the positive there. Another thing I did was I went ahead and turned off my coupon sale. Uh, if I'm selling this few of items, I need to get, I can't keep giving all these discounts. So, I mean, I already do best offer. I already run sales. So the extra coupon has been eliminated um, in order to try to keep the amount per item up. Uh, page views up 27%. Quantity sold up 9%. Even though the impressions are down 16%. Um, promoted impressions down 19, organic impressions down 7. All right. So what I might do on these videos, since we're going to be looking for solutions instead of complaining about the problems, we're going to talk, we're going to say the problems so that you at least know. And then, you know, like I said, the thumbnail and or title might reflect the problem. But in the video, we'll, we'll go for more of a solution or just a change or what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, etc. So this is something totally unique. Um, well, not unique, but it rarely happens where I'm at a 50-50 split on organic promoted. Uh, on a normal day when I'm having good sales, it's usually a 70-30 split, 70 promoted, uh, 30 organic. That can change, obviously, if you get bulk orders. And it looks like I got one bulk order, but that was last night's, but none today. So I would say none of that whoops, is bulk order. So that's kind of a, a something that's standing out that's different. Um, I would like to think that my external views, I run Facebook ads, run $300 a month. That's $10 a day on Facebook ads. I would like to think that at least one person a day is buying a hat or something from my store. But uh, what I might do if sales are still going down or whatever, I might take that 300 down to 150 and see how things change uh, on that. And that'll kind of give me a base if Facebook is generating any money for me. Because I know that the uh, interaction on my ad has dropped drastically or at least me getting the notifications that people are re reacting to it has dropped. So uh, yesterday we made it up to 54 items. So at least I made it over 50. So we're back to that. If I make it to 50, I'm lucky type of thing. Um, so 1.9 million impressions, organic page views, 875 promoted 2383 so we're only getting a little over 3,000 impressions on say 30,000 listings that's like 10 percent so we're only getting 10 percent of the 30,000 so that's just kind of a number to keep in my head to try to get you know if I do make changes what I do uh, to see if I can increase that number where my total page views not counting external, is higher than a 10%. So that's a little nice number there. And then maybe me trying to little brainstorm with numbers here might help you with your store also too. So here we are a little over 3,000 uh, page views. 24, the same there. Look how similar they are. So you can almost tell that they're only allowing a certain amount of page views per day. Because you would think they would not be that close, you know? 
And there again, too. There we're at least closer to 4,000. So that, but that was on one of the days that was good, that things weren't uh, messed up. So that could have something to do with it. So we're a little over three there. We're right at three there. And now those were the, even the, the days that were messed up also. So, hmm. So it looks like I'm only being allowed about 3,000 impressions or views per day. And I wonder if that's when you have those times where, you know, you don't get nothing for an hour or two hours because you've reached your maximum page views for the, you know, the time period or whatever. So if that's the case, how do I get my page views up? Do I list more items? Does that affect how many page views I get? If I have 40,000 items in my store, does that allow me 35,000 page views? Because it seems weird that a, just the same amount of people would be looking for the stuff that I have being there. You know, sure, CDs, because it sets hats, but there's all different uh, names on them, you know. There's all different artists on the hats. They're not all the same brand. They're not all the same logo. So you wouldn't think there would be that much consistency in my store, even though my sales used to be very consistent. So, And then maybe my sales are very consistent because that too was being allocated. So that's not cool if that's the way it is. So we're going we're gonna to play with that some more. So that means today we're at about 800 organic v or page views. So we're going to see and we're going to try to push that number higher. See what it takes to push that number higher on the page view thing by playing with things. So we're going to keep an eye on that. I think we're going to focus on that for the next week or two and see what we can do and change and see how it changes over time. Because even when I was running the coupon... That didn't change anything. So we know the coupon doesn't change the amount of pay views. And all it does is lets people pay for pay less for the items. So I can safely get rid of that. So that leaves the question too, and this has been debated before, is putting up lower priced items hurting you? Because that's part of your allotment of page views. I've always never wanted to believe that, but I've always kind of felt it could. So, hmm. because if if you're you're allowed allotted three thousand page views and two thousands being used on lower dollar items, that's going to bring down your sales. So that is a thought. So maybe we'll play with that, like um, maybe for March, I don't put up anything under $10. I just throw it aside, either put it in a lot or throw it aside for later, and then see how March plays out. So why don't we play on those two numbers, those two uh, things right there. We'll try to get the uh, page views up, and then we'll also take the dollar amount per item up and see if that changes the page views or not. So maybe we'll go that route. But uh, let's get to pulling. That's this, some of the uh, actions we're going to put into place and see what happens. How about that? So let's get into it. All right. Indianapolis 500 hat. This sold for $6. It's the babies. Oh, how'd that cassette fall? Did you knock this over? Did you knock this over? Rub my belly. My belly. Give him baby rubs. Give him baby rubs. <laughs> All right. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Long box here. So for our clearance, four dollars. All right. Another Huey Lewis in the news. So four and clearance item two fifty. All right, let's activate Every Dog Has His Day cassette. Sold for two fifty. All right. Uh, we got this Racquetball Club visor sold for 6 bucks. Another thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try it for the weekend and probably longer to see if this changes any of the numbers we were talking about. I forgot to check my promoted 
uh, percentages and I've been running 25. So I went in and just bumped them down to 10%. So that's a few, that's a 15% difference. So through the rest of the day today, since it's only 1030, Saturday and Sunday and Monday, we will see if that number of page views increases or decreases by any, and if the amount of sale items decreases or increases any. So that'll give a view that is the percentage percentage, the percentage percentage, promotion percentage thing even worth putting it up higher if you're only allowed a certain amount of page views per day anyway. So we'll try that this weekend and prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we got the New York hat sold for $7. I did just ship a CD without showing. I forgot. My mind's just fixated on everything I've been talking about and totally spaced out, but it was only like a 250 CD anyway. So, so we got this release audio magazine cassette uh, clearance item 250. E43. Boo Cosby. So I actually bought a Bill Cosby CD. I just went back because my mind won't stop. This is why I try not to get fixated on things because my mind just keeps going and going and going. Um, so I went back for like a year and a half. I went back to like May of 2021. I kind of just looked at all my high dollar days. And every day that I had sold my 70 to 100 items that I was so comfortable with, I had four th uh, closer to 4,000 uh, page views on those. So what caused those 4,000 page views? Was it actual traffic? Or was it, you know, something different? So it's got me kind of confused, kind of just trying to figure things out because uh, I wasn't putting as putting up as much low dollar stuff then either so hmm, I didn't have as many items up I was getting more page views because obviously I guess tra you know obviously traffic was better during that time because of COVID so hmm, I don't know I need to just implement what I am doing and see what happens all right Bill Cosby wonderful uh, CD that sold for Clarence 250 but anyway, the positive, I guess, I forgot to talk about. Uh, I know how many page views I need to have the sales I like. And that's 4,000 page views, not 3,000 page views. So how do I get my 3,000 page views back up to 4,000 page views? Is it the number of items I list? Is it the quantity of the quality of items I list? Is it customer-based? Or is it within eBay's algorithm? Because I know I wasn't pushing the percentages high either back then. I was probably running 10 to 15%, not 20 and 25%. So, bunch of things to consider. Bunch of numbers that just aren't making sense right now. But uh, maybe I'm just overthinking it. But anyway, this Credence Clearwater Revival up around the bend 45 sold for clearance 250 E97. E97. Um, let me go back and see how many page views those particular days had where I was selling 85. There were only 3,000, right? Yeah, I think so. I think I already looked at that. Uh, Garth Brooks' Man Against Machine CD sold for Clarence 250. No, wrong. Those few days that when... Uh, the organic numbers were broken. I was pushing 4,000 page views those days. So not that one. That's when it started going back down. Twenty three. So now we're only at three that day too. So hmm. We're still we're only at three that that few. Damn. This is going to be tougher to figure out than I thought. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
All right, I've taken up enough of your time with this thing. Let's get back to pulling. All right, Cole Porter Favorites Vinyl, sold for $11. All right, Fifth Element Black and Blue CD, sold for $8. All right, Skeeter Davis, The Essential CD, sold for five bucks. All right, D-Light, The Affinity with End Cassette, Clarence 250. All right, we got the Jordan 3s, the Five Lab 3s. And uh, took an offer for 40 bucks on those yesterday. I know too much talking, not enough puppies. <laughs> it's your baby girl, all cozy and comfy. Snug as a bug in a rug. Ooh, look at that stretch. <laughs> They're so cute, so cute. T39. We gotta go up over here. In the messy stuff. I still haven't went and got my shelving. All right, let me dig through here. All America, America. All right, this hat sold for $6. All right, University of Mississippi hat sold for $11. All right, high V shirt sold for $9. All righty, we got a Mizzou, Missouri Tigers skull cap sold for $9. All right, Houston Astros hat sold for $5. It's sleepies. Sleepies. <laughs> Are you ready for a cassette lot? Yeah, got two Michael Jackson cassette lots going up to Canada. Together they sold for seven fifty. Are you ready for a cassette lot? Yeah. All right, we've got these five cassette singles, clearance items, all together sold for twelve fifty. So apparently this sold on True Gather, but uh, they didn't send me an email saying it sold. Uh, so we got Clarence item sold for two fifty. All right, let's recap. So we'll have seven to add on to tonight. So we'll see where we're at. Um, boom. So since I changed the the percentage down from twenty five down to ten percent on promoted at about ten thirty. Uh, this one I believe sold before that, and it's a payment somebody paid. But we've sold three more uh, since that point. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five payments in the 10 o'clock hour. And it is now 11.36. So we've sold two items uh, in the 11 o'clock hour. So that's about normal <laughs> from the last 24 hours. To 48 hours with what's been going on so no sudden changes as of yet so let's see here so yeah so we will see where these numbers end up tonight we're at 1000 ish right now so to be normal it needs to be 2000 more before 2 a.m so we will see where we're at in this evening's totals and go from there. And yeah, that's all we can do is play around with this and see what's see if we can figure it out 100%. Everybody's got theories and tests and stuff, but everybody's different depending on what they sell too when it comes to sell-through rates and what have you. So got to pretty much go by with what I sell, the type of stuff I sell. So we shall see, and then we'll see if these numbers, how these numbers increase or decrease also so the impressions were already down 16.7 percent anyway uh with 25 percent uh pr promoted so we'll see if that changes organic impressions 25 ish percent promoted 75 percent so All right, so and that was already down 19.5. So we'll see if that drops any more, lowering the percentage rate.
So, and when you have more unique items, I don't know if it's really going to make that much of a difference, to be honest with you. I, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So we will see. But, uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We'll get one last view of the puppies with he's like half ready to go, half ready to sleep. <laughs> Courtney's all ready. Kids ready. Oh yeah. Look at her. Look at her trying to be so cutie cutie. <laughs> trying to be so cutie cutie. <laughs> Alright. Thanks everybody for watching and uh I'll see you in this evening's video. Later.